It's been a flu season unlike any other, and for once, that's a good thing. This year's influenza infections are down, and health experts believe it's because of the extreme caution folks are trying to, taking rather, to stave off COVID-19. ABC 7's JC Navarrete spoke to the city's health authority, and JC did El Paso dodge a bullet this year. Staff, city and county officials definitely telling me that we've dodged a bullet here. Health officials were fearing a perfect storm was brewing this year, which would have been seeing people infected with COVID-19 or the flu, and in some cases, even both. With the hygiene, with the distancing, and mainly the face mask, we've been able to dodge the bullet, the bullet and we don't see that many flu. We've seen a very drastic reduction in flu cases in the city. Dr. Hector Garanza tells me the prevention taken from COVID-19 has helped stave off the influenza virus this year. Dr. Garanza credits the number of people who got their flu vaccine. We were able to educate many people on the benefits of getting the shot and the benefits of pre uh, practicing prevention. And that is also one of the, the winning formulas and winning combinations against the flu. And it's not just in El Paso. Nationwide, flu numbers are drastically down. The map shows the country's influenza infections through the months. The entire country right now in the green, showing minimal cases of the flu. Just last year, more than 15,000 cases were reported in El Paso with two flu-related deaths. This year, there have been no flu-related deaths. There's also only been 428 cases of the flu. By not having the flu, in combination with the COVID, as we have mentioned before, that is the perfect storm. We created a, a, a better cushion for the healthcare worker to focus on those that are sick with COVID. Ultimately, as flu season comes to an end, Dr. Ocaranza's message to the community is to keep practicing prevention and we can stave off other medical issues too. So people continue wearing their face masks. That is extremely important. Continue practicing hygiene. Good hygiene is good for a lot of things. Again, flu season almost over. Dr. Ocaranza believes that these good habits could mean an easier flu season each year. Plus, our healthcare workers can, of course, enjoy a break by keeping hospitalizations down if we continue to wear our mask.